Welcome to the homework for lesson 17. It's grade three, module two. Write your name first. Kathy collects the following information about her dogs. Stella and Oliver are the names of her dogs. And we're gonna use these little tables here about Stella and Oliver to answer these questions. Estimate the total weight of Stella and Oliver. So we'll say we're going to estimate. So we're going to round. And we're looking at the weights. So we'll round to, I think we'll just round to the nearest 10. So 32 is this little wavy equal sign means about. So rounds to about 30, that would be the nearest 10. And 7 is closest to 10 than 0. So we'll add 30 plus 10, 40, and that's 40 kilograms. The total weight is about about 40 kilograms. What is the actual total weight of Stella and Oliver? So that's 32 plus 7. And you can see we're just adding the 2 and the 7 for the 1s. And it doesn't make a 10, so we're just looking at 39. The actual, oops, total is 39 kg. Now we estimate the total time Kathy spends giving her dogs a bath. So we got to look back up at the tables and we're looking at 36 minutes and 25 minutes. So let's see, 36, we go to the nearest 10, that's a little closer to 40, and the other one was 25. And that's right in the middle, so we round up 30, 40 plus 30, we're just adding 10s here, 70, the total bath time is about, because this is an estimate, that's our keyword. It's about 70 minutes. What is the actual total time? So that's 36 plus 25. And mentally, we can see we have 50 here. And this is going to be another 11. So that's going to be. 61, the actual total time is 61 minutes. Explain how estimating helps you check the reasonableness of your answers. Estimating makes easy numbers to add, right? Because we're adding tens. When we round to the nearest ten, we're just adding tens. Makes easy numbers, 
clean that up there to add mentally if if estimates are close actual totals are good Dana or Dina or Dena. I don't think two ends would be Dena. But this is we'll call this Dina. Reads for reads for three hundred sixty one minutes during week one of her school's two week long readathon. She reads for three for two hundred twelve minutes during week two. So week one and a week two amount. Estimate the total amount of time Dana reads during the readathon by rounding. So we could round these. These are in the hundreds. We could round these by the nearest hundred, or we could round to the nearest ten. Either one would probably give us pretty easy numbers to work with, but let's round to the nearest hundred and see what happens. 212 is about that's our week two total that's about 200 that's a closer hundred and 361 would be a little bit closer to 400 200 plus 400 equals 600 so the total time is about Six hundred minutes. M I N is our abbreviation for minutes. Estimate the total time she reads during the readathon by rounding in a different way. So we rounded by hundreds the first time. This time we'll round by tens. Maybe you did it by tens the first time. You can do it by hundreds the next time. So it's just a different, just a different way. So we had two hundred twelve. The nearest ten there would be two hundred ten. And for 361, the nearest 10 would be 360. And then we have 210 plus 360 is, we can see our hundreds, we're gonna have five hundreds and our tens, 10 and 60 isn't gonna make another hundred for us. So we're gonna have, we can just look at the digits and add them together mentally without having to bundle anything, 500. 70 about 570 minutes calculate the actual number of minutes which method of rounding was more precise and why so first thing we got to do is Add the 212 to the 361, 573. Probably I should have not written that exactly in the middle of the space that I had to work in because then I'm going to have to write some more. Let me do that over again. 212, 361. I'm going to put it over here now. Three, seven, five hundred seventy-three. Now I have more space to write because I'm going to have to write probably a sentence or two to answer first this question, and then the why. I'm going to have to write at least another sentence for that. So I need plenty of space to write here. Which method of rounding was more precise? It was the rounding by tens. Three 
rounding by tens. gave a closer estimate. Right, because that was only off by three. That was only off by three minutes. And rounding by hundreds had us off by well, a lot more than three. Why? Rounding by tens Right, so when we rounded by hundreds just I mean we're gonna think about how to say this rounding by hundreds look at this I mean we went from 212 to 200 so that's you know we lost 12 there just to look at this, just see what actually happened. And from 361 to 400, we actually went up almost 40. Almost 40, right? So that was a difference between the two around about 30 more, right? And that's how that then that shows in our total was about 30 higher. Now for this one, this change from 212 to 210 was only about two more. And then from 361, we only shaved down a point, one point. So rounding by tens changed our add-ins a lot less, right? We, we changed our add-ins by a lot, by a little bit more here when we rounded by hundreds. But we rounded by tens, we changed our add-ins a lot less. So rounding by tens changed our add-ins less. less than rounding by hundreds.